This is the third video in a tutorial mini-series about counting with image J. In this video, we will automatically count Arabidopsis leaves and measure the area for each leaf. And for this example, we will automatically count the number of leaves and the area of each leaf for a scanned image of Arabidopsis leaves. Um, first, let's open the image by um, dragging the image onto the graphical user interface. Um, this picture was taken um, with indoor lighting um, using a Canon EOS Digital Rebel. Uh, image J labels objects in the order of the um, upper left to the lower right corner. And in light of that, the leaves in the image are arranged, so image J will count them row by row in order. This eliminates the need to resort the data later. Um, we will begin processing this image by setting scale. Um, for accurate image calibration, we need a large reference object of known size near the object of interest. The ruler in this image matches that description. Go ahead and select the straight line tool. We're going to draw a line along the length of the ruler. So there we go, I got it selected. And then we're going to um, zoom out again. I'm going to put it up to like the, the 10 mark in this case. Next we're going to go to um, Analyze, uh, Set Scale. Um, we're going to set the distance to the line. We're going to fill in um, 10 for known distance and centimeter for unit of length. Um, we're going to keep global unchecked. When the global option is checked, the same image calibration will be applied to images that will be imported subsequently. Um, we use this option when the same image needs to be imported multiple times to perform different sets of image analysis, or when all images in a set have the same scale. In this case, this is the only image with this scale, um, and set scale must be done again for subsequent images, so we're just going to go ahead and click OK with the global unchecked. Um, go ahead and click on the rectangle tool, um, and select the smallest rectangle around the leaves. Um, then we're going to go to image and crop. Um, then we're going to go to um, image, adjust, color threshold. Um, and we're going to select the leaf area by thresholding. Um, in this image, we're going to need um, hue between 30 and um, 135. We're going to need um, saturation between 0 and 255, and then we're going to need um, brightness between um, 80 and 255. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and click Select. Um, then we're going to go to um, Process, Binary, Make Binary, to convert the color image to a binary image, and then um, Analyze, analyze particles to count the leaves and to measure the individual area of each leaf. Um, we're going to enter um, 0.1 to infinity uh, for size, 0 to 1 for circularity, and um, in this case show outlines. Um, and we're going to leave the pixel box unchecked. Um, we started the um, size from 0 0.1 so that we could exclude some of the little particles that are not the leaves. Um, we're going to go ahead and click OK. Um, now we can record the desired information from the, um, the summary and results table. Um, the results table will have the um, area of each leaf and um, if you scroll in on the image um, each leaf is numbered based on the um, outlines output um, so here we can go to results and we can copy all of that and put it into um, Excel if we want to. That concludes our third movie in our mini-series about counting manually and automatically in image J. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully we'll have the final movie for you soon.